Uh, this is, um, I think, rather odd to be talking about this, uh, particularly bringing this motion from uh, a, an elected representative. Because I think really what is going on here behind the scenes is a push for the referendum. And I believe that what's, what's really going on is that um, I'm firmly opposed to a referendum because I consider it an affront to representative democracy. With much larger consequences to our political system than just our decision on this particular project. The question we should ask ourselves is where does the use of referenda stop? In this electronic age, it is possible that the public could vote directly on anything and everything, making elected representatives obsolete. Now, some people might think that's just a, a positive development. However, I firmly believe that well-considered decisions come about only through the representative system with people selected by their peers. We had an election just last year and we were the ones that were selected to make decisions on behalf for, uh, of the public for the public good. I have painful personal experience with referendum. When I traveled the country as part of the Parliamentary Committee on the Canadian Constitution, that exhaustive process, after months of work by an all-party committee, hearing from Canadians and studying various constitutional choices, the government decided to put the options to a referendum, which I consider a simplistic tool for a complex problem. In my view, this unleashed a torrent of divisive behavior, anti-native, anti-Quebec, from which our country has yet to recover. I believe that the people of Victoria have entrusted us to make the best decisions we can, we can on their behalf. It may not be perfect, but it, we're doing our best. I also believe that the conversations with members of the public have strengthened that, this decision, and conversations amongst our council colleagues as well. And I believe it is our responsibility now to implement that decision. Doesn't mean we stop talking, it just means that we go on. After the A, alternative approval process is complete, if it goes forward as I hope it does, that we go on to implement this decision. And I, just as a final comment, with all the troubles in our world and in our city, it really puzzles me the kind of energy that is, has brought, been brought to this one. The kind of work that we've done as a council to go after our number one priority of providing social housing, supportive housing. Where are the people standing on the streets getting signatures on that issue? That would make a, our city a really caring, livable city. That's the issue that got me involved again in politics. Because I care about this city and I want it to be the best city we have in Canada, in the world. I will not support this motion because I think it's a backdoor approach to a referendum and I cannot do that.